my kitchen floor right now because the sanding is just too much work. If you don't really feel like making puff pastry, because I know it's a little time consuming, you could just buy the pre-made ones from the grocery store. I can't really recommend you a brand or tell you if it tastes better or not because I've never used them before and I've always made my puff pastry from scratch. Probably because I don't love myself enough. <laughs> but here are my flaky and buttery and yummy egg tarts that were so worth it. <laughs> this puff pastry recipe needs two different doughs to be made separately and is later combined. To make a custard, we're making a syrup out of the sugar and water and pouring it into the eggs and milk. Using a food scale, weigh out 140 grams of flour and cut into small cubes 180 grams of unsalted butter. With these ingredients, we're making oil dough. In a bowl, sift 140 grams of plain flour or all-purpose flour. Add 180 grams of cold, unsalted butter that were cut into cubes. Using a fork, mash together the flour and butter until the dough forms. This process will be a lot easier and faster if you use a food processor. It will start looking a little flaky. Use your hands to form a dough. Place the dough onto saran wrap. Wrap this carefully and refrigerate this for 20 to 30 minutes. Depending on how cold your freezer is, we only need this dough to be firm and not rock hard that you can't even roll it out. Weigh out 140 grams of all-purpose flour, 2 egg yolks, or to be more precise, 40 grams of egg yolks, 40 to 50 milliliters of ice-cold water. We're making the second dough, egg dough. In a clean bowl, set 140 grams of all-purpose flour. Yay, it's snowing! Add 2 egg yolks, or 40 grams of eggs if that's what you're into, and mix this together. Thumbs up if you like Rila Akuma. The amount of water depends on humidity, weather, temperature, global warming, the world, and unicorns. So only add the water a little bit at a time until the dough forms. You may have to get in there and knead the dough with your hands. Saran wrap this dough and refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes. Again, we don't want to freeze this to the point it is unrollable but firm. Flatten the dough into a small square or circle or unicorn shape. The shape really doesn't matter, it just has to be small. Be sure to label the dough with names so you'll know which dough is which but the egg one has yellow flecks in it. Draw a heart if you're making this with love. Take your egg dough out of the fridge. If it's too firm, let it sit out on the table until it's rollable. Take some flour and throw it onto the table and onto the dough. Roll this into a large square, big enough to cover the oil dough we made earlier. This isn't the prettiest dough, but I assure you it will start looking better the next time I roll it. Place the oil dough into the center and cover the dough with the dough on the bottom. If you have one, use a bench scraper or a spatula to lift the dough. If you don't, maybe it's time to buy some nice new things for yourself. Wrap the dough again with saran wrap. Refrigerate for 20 to 30 minutes. Do you feel like buying pre-made pastry dough yet? Dust the table and the dough with flour again. This time, roll the dough out into a rectangle. Press it down gently with a rolling pin before you start rolling it out. What we're doing first is called a simple fold. A simple fold is when you take one end of the dough and you bring it over one-third of the way. Then, then you take the other side of the dough and you bring it over one third away. 
You can either refrigerate this for 20 minutes again, or you can roll this out and do another simple fold, depending on if your dough can handle being rolled again. Turn the dough on to the side and roll it into another rectangle. Take one end and fold it over one third of the way, and take the other end and roll it over one third of the way. This is another simple fold. Cover this with saran wrap and now you have to refrigerate this for another 20 to 30 minutes. Take the dough out of the freezer and this time we're doing a book fold. Roll this into another rectangle. Take one side of the dough and bring it towards the center. Take the other side and bring it towards the center also, then take the whole thing and close it like a book. Freeze this dough for 20 minutes, wash your hands, and pat yourself on the back. This was the last fold. Roll this dough out. You may have to cut it in half for now and refrigerate the other half so it doesn't get too soft while working. Cut the circles out with the cookie cutter. If you don't have any cookie cutters, it's time to get some nice new things, or just use a cup. Press the dough into tart molds or mini cupcake silicone molds. Press this until the dough hangs out a little over the edge. Refrigerate this for 20 minutes to prevent shrinking during baking. To make the custard filling, first get a pot to make simple syrup by adding 100 milliliters of water, carefully adding 80 grams of sugar into the center. To prevent crystallization on the side, you need to simply heat this up until it boils and the sugar dissolves. Mix together 2 and a half eggs, 125 milliliters of milk, and half a teaspoon of vanilla. Mix this very gently and try not to form any bubbles. Once the sugar is dissolved, combine the egg mix and the sugar that's been cold for at least 30 seconds. If you wait too long, the sugar will harden and you will have to make a new batch. Mix this up. Strain this into a pourable cup or a mixing cup so it'll be much more easier to pour into your tarts. Yummy custard filling! Remove the tarts from the fridge and place them onto a tray. Lightly stab the bottoms with the fork so it doesn't puff up while baking. Pour in the filling three-fourths of the way. These puff up pretty big, so don't overdo it. Place the tarts on the lowest rack of your oven. Bake in a preheated temperature of 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. The center should puff up a little bit and the shells will golden lightly. These tarts are so bright yellow and makes me so happy to see them. I store these in the fridge, but I'm not sure if I was supposed to, and before eating them, I think I'm going to put in the microwave for a little bit till it gets a little bit warm. <laughs> I wonder if I could rip this apart just to show you the flakiness of this. Some people do shortbread crust, which is a lot faster than puff pastry, but I prefer delicious and flakiness. <laughs> I'm like making a mess right now. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my social media sites down below. If you have a baking emergency, feel free to message me anywhere. I think on YouTube sometimes the comments are a little delayed so I recommend contacting me through Instagram because I could get the notifications pretty quickly through that and I could answer right away. Ooh, it's my oven. <laughs> Too early for videos. <laughs> <laughs>